finally. My two road trip buddies are ready. We shall commence the ultimate... Crap, I didn't read a script for this. Let's go! So the first thing you want to do when convincing someone to join you on a road trip, you always want to make sure that you use a gentle voice and you make sure that there is something for everyone. Like that. Now you, I know that... Why'd you drop your binoculars? What do those binoculars do to you? Come on. Come on. Don't fall off that end. That's not the end you want to fall off of. Alright, so, um... Sometimes, you know, people won't want to go on the road trip with you, but you just gotta accept that. Now, um... So, um, yeah, so, um, can I, can I just, okay, let's go, let's, 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 let's ride, let's, let's, let's drive, let's, s synonym, oh, so quick, can't even measure it. How are you, how are you all doing? Alright, good to know. Oh, okay, now, this is what you call a speedy vehicle, we're actually almost topping seven miles an hour kilometers now. Whatever, we're not in America, which is the, always the wrong place to be. So, measuring in kilometers is why we're going so slowly. If we were in America, we'd be going faster. What the... Oh, okay. So sometimes your road trip buddies will start levitating. Now, this is a common case of road trip levitation. <laughs> so if this happens, just make sure you get them down calmly. Just make sure that you don't harm them afterwards, because that's definitely one of the bad parts of it. Here we go. So, you know, okay, that's your own fault. You're going to want to, it's a little peaceful thing, it's called hitchhiking. And my form of hitchhiking is you actually kick them off the motorcycle, steal it for yourself, and then drive off. So, while you're road tripping, you might come across a massively valuable military fort that you need to take down in order to free your people. Now see, this is a pretty common example. So you might come across a man trying to kill you, and in that case, you want to make sure that you kick him off the tower. Get out of here, boy. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. Oh, V. How did he just land that? This man is valuable. No one touch him. No one attack him. No one attack him. Don't attack him. Don't attack him. No, don't attack me either. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Oh, you messed up. You know, this is why, on a road trip, when you are, again, uh, doing this common scenario, the old buggy, of freeing a military base, you want to make sure that if someone is shooting you and they cannot land on their feet from a 20-foot drop like that other guy could, you got to make sure you kick him into a concrete wall. Ow, that really hurt. Hey, you! Go on vacation! Get it? Because I, I kicked him away from me. I'm just going to stand here where no one will hurt me. Yeah. I'm going to stand here behind cover. And now, see, it's just really simple. You gotta make sure you take out all the military targets. Oh my god. They have a metal gear! <laughs> Give, let me in. Let me in. See, there are always two snipers on the top, and you always want to say politely, mind you, hey, can I destroy this excavator? And usually they will say yes. <laughs> Excuse me, Andrew. Could you just, please just, doing something. People, am I right? So you actually want to ask them, you know, if you're allowed to. Oh, there he goes. Uh, hey, can I use this excavator? Oh, thanks, dude. I'll save him. I'm a polite guy like that. So there will be some armed guards on the excavator, but that doesn't really matter. Because you just kick them off. Oh, God. No, dude. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's okay. Always pack a parachute. You never know when you might be falling to your death, and then you want to pack a parachute. Oh, this seems stable. Uh, people will be screeching at all times for no reason. 
You want to make sure you ignore them, because... <laughs> I shot the grenade! <laughs> now, you may get caught in a shootout. Just make sure that you leave no survivors. I'm kidding. You can always leave survivors. See this guy? He's not going to shoot me, because now I let him survivory. I uh, see, he's not going to shoot me because I left him survivory. So, you know, just look, he won't shoot me. See? It's because I left him alive. I mean, he'll hit me, but that's just friend things. See? See? He's so nice to me. Look at him. Look at him. No. Don't you throw that grenade. Don't worry, friend. I'll save you. What? Ma'am. Other ma'am? Why are there so many ma'am? Like, they're all the s Okay. Friend, is that you? It is him. I could recognize his face anywhere. Ma'am, could you please not? All the robots are still alive. Look at him. Look, he's beautiful. Don't you shoot that at me. It's a trust exercise that you won't shoot it at me. Trust exercise. Don't shoot me. Don't, friend. Ah, crap. So, how this advanced trust fall works is uh, you push them off the edge and they have to trust you that, you, that you're going to catch them with your tethers. But, oh, sorry, friend. Fate is cruel. Sometimes you just got to go away. Some sh okay, this thing sucks. Never go on road trips. So you know what? Road road trip sucks. Road road game sucks. Life sucks. Excuse me, sir. I'm, I'm using this. Just sometimes you just gotta go out, riding off into the sunset. Go out with the bang! Oh hey, a train! And just like that, I got on the train, and I was never seen. What is going on? And I was I was never seen again because I was hit by a train. <laughs> I'll get you someday, train. I'll get you. S Excuse me. He's a cute bird.